welcome to another Let's Play of Stardew Valley. My name is Anna Mardal. This is our 38th Let's Play. And we are on day four of spring. Year two. So, I tend rain tomorrow all day. And eels. Eels can be caught from the ocean in the spring and fall during rainy evenings. I have mentioned before on this Let's Play that I struggle to finish the game, at least in terms of getting to the end plot-wise. Remember to eat healthy or we won't have enough energy to work hard. Eggplant farm. I found this in a drawer somewhere and thought you could use it. Thank you, Pam. The battery pack is very nice. Um, and usually year two is when I hit my point where I just kind of fade away and don't come back. It's not, I don't hit a point where I'm like, I'm never playing that game again. It's just I end up kind of ghosting it. And I think that's because here is where we enter into a bit of a holding pattern in terms of things are going fine, but they're just, you know, water the crops every day, feed the animals, go to sleep. It's a repeat. So it'll be interesting, let's put it that way, to see whether I can sustain us through to the end because I really would like that and I'm already noticing that we're gonna need more seeds because some of our parsnips are already ready to harvest which that's amazingly fast but our our profession was the farm profession that causes crops to grow 10% faster. So, there you have it. Let us go milk everybody. And then we'll go pick up our eggs if we can get in here. Yes, we can. Okay, we have sold mayonnaises of each kind. So at this stage, the only real point in making mayonnaise of everything is because it increases the price. I do plan to eventually have four cheese makers and four mayonnaise makers and we can just throw every day's uh, collection into the makers, and that way we get the maximum amount of money for everything. Okay, everything down here is good. Okay, we've got honey ready for harvest. The flowers are not ready yet, so this is just plain wild honey with no special flavor. Which is fine. Um, oh, and I have this note here. <laughs> Thank you, past me, for the reminder. I have this note here that we want to go into town and pick up some summer seeds. Trees. Kent is down by the river. And it is his birthday. Feels kind of unfair for them to stick his birthday so early in the spring because the first time I completely missed it. Are you friends with my son? You probably know him better than I do. Oh baby. Um, it's, it's not uh, 
it's not easy with all the hustle bustle of spring, seeds, plant, water, to remember, oh, there's somebody new in town. I should check the calendar and see. <laughs> Wallpaper that looks like little mushrooms. All right, we want... Peach and orange, and that's, we can just afford one. Oh, psh, and I also wanted some, uh, let's say some more parsnip seeds. We'll replace what we planted with fresh versions. And then back we go. Vroom. Now, I must check my planner here. I had... Those are peach, and those are orange. Okay. Peach is gonna go one, two, three. And orange is gonna go one, two, three. There we go. Grow, my pretties. That should be, okay, plenty of time. We just have to watch and make sure no, um, you know, uh, rocks or whatever start over there. Pop inside our snazzy greenhouse. Water our little baby plants over here, little plants over here. Why did you spread them out so much, Anna? I have a plan. Is it the most efficient plan in the world? Probably not. I will I will fully admit to that. say tomorrow when we go to the traveling cart there might be trees for us to cut down we really need trees and I really don't want to pay for the wood although it, it might eventually come to that there's a bit of a, a time mechanic in play really where sure you can cut down all the wood you want but you know it has to have been grown and um, that limits how quickly you can get wood unless you cough up gash for it. And you say, oh well you can plant some around the farm and you are right, but it seems like there are some limitations even then on how quickly they can grow and which ones get a growth boost every day. It seems like they're going awfully slowly. Just saying. We'll do a quick run up here and see if there's anything. There's a leak. But I do have a, a faint memory of like 
every winter chopping on everything and then oh hi you smoke break why does everyone like Meru so much sure she's smart and friendly but don't they realize it's just an attention grabbing scam Sebastian sorry honey that is not a nice way to talk about your stepsister Who is genuinely smart and friendly? Poor little goth baby. You know, it would be nice if smashing those worms uh, out of the soil didn't give me clay so much. I want artifacts, dang it. Give mom the artifacts frozen to you, that's nice. Rocks, more rocks. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I just, I wanted the wood and at that point I was invested in making it neat and tidy. efficient way to get wood, but I like the bathhouse paint. It's kind of pink. I never noticed that before. Is that just because it's spring? Does it look different colors in different seasons? The people here seem nice, but they avoid me. You and Sebastian should talk. Tree! Apparently we're out of energy, so let's go hit this ball. <laughs> I'm so excited! Tree! <laughs> Get it! Kill it! Drop it down! <laughs> Rip its head off! Oh, I was very happy. Is that supposed to be our shadow? Or is that like our body under the water? If it's our body under the water, we are apparently a slug. Half human, half slug. If it's our shadow, I think we're about to be murdered by it. I never noticed that before. when this game was much newer. If I recall correctly, it doesn't start on auto run. It starts you walking around. And I almost didn't play further than that because the walk is so slow that it was just like, F that, you know, I'm not playing this game. And I don't know, I guess I figured out there was a run button or maybe I accidentally turned off auto run and was walking by and was, no, I can't remember. It was something like that. It was a long time ago, and I don't have the best memory to begin with anyway, so you see the problem. Oh, there's all those trees I can't get to. And there's no tree down here. Is there anything worth... There's a piece of wood, though. Mine now. What? No trees there. 
pageantry though, you kind of wonder um, what is causing the rocks to regenerate the quarry every night. Is that a spot where rocks fall a lot or are they rising up from the ground? What is that? I mean, it's a video game, I know that. I'm not. Okay, so here's a question. Do I want to save the regular ones or the gold ones? Because we're going to end up with more gold than, more, than we have regular. Well, we'll see how it goes. honey and the fruit and sell the fairy rose honey. There is not uh, any, as far as I know, benefit to using the better honeys in cooking, so you might as well use the cheap one that, that doesn't get you much money. Fish, fish. Spring. things. Metal things. And I wanted to put the goat cheese in the fridge. And tomorrow it is supposed to rain. Yes. That means we can spend all day. There we go. That means we can spend all day doing other stuff and not watering the crops. Friday. Do you know what Friday means? They said it rain. They said it rain. Clear and sunny. Well, the spirits feel neutral today. Good to know. seeds that we need to buy. I may have counted incorrectly. But it'll just start. Let's check on our wine press in here. Okay, everything's going well. And check on our mushrooms. real quick. I'm going to drop off the cherries and apricots, the non-gold garlic and parsnip, which is by far the minority now. We're such good farmers that we're regularly turning out gold star produce higher at a higher rate than non-gold star 
that shouldn't really surprise because we spent so much uh, sap making fertilizer to drop down. But still, it's pretty impressive. I'm impressed. I'm impressed by a me. <clears throat> Maybe it wouldn't go that far. Maybe it wouldn't go that far. All right, quick chicken check. You guys definitely need some room to spread out. Doing okay. You sound like you're doing okay. You go into the cheese press and you go into the cheese press and off it goes. Alright. So we're gonna fling our goods into the good bin. Oops, that goes into, into the house. And now we go get to do fun stuff. Goodbye, farm! increasing other direction. I don't want anything falling into this lake. I don't think we could just do it. Far enough away, but still. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah. Got my tree hit. Yes. Hello. Slime, tulip, wood fence, gold bar, more tulip, cauliflower seeds at a ridiculous rate. I have to say. Rare seed. Yeah. I don't like the cost of this coffee bean, but there it is. Okay. I think I have one at home. I should be. I should plant that one. I forgot I had it. Stormy days are the only time I could commune with certain elementals. I wouldn't expect you to understand. I didn't bring him a present, which I should have. We forgot about the wild onions. Bad farm. Very bad farmer. Alright, I think that's all the trees. Three of seven, not bad. We're gonna need way more wood than that, but it's a start. get a horseradish. This is an amazing gift. For my people, it is a great honor. The sewers are flowing quickly today. It'll get nice and humid in here. Just how I like it. Yeesh. You know that sewers are not nice places to hang out, right? We're gonna grab that iridium sprinkler. And the star drop taunts us with its so close, so expensive. And we're about to go spend all of our money on seeds. 
which is not necessarily the best choice we can make, but we have to spend money to make money. Looking for Breen, Linus. Uh, Linus, I'm afraid you're just gonna have to keep looking. I'm not, I don't think I have one. I might have one, but I don't think I have one. The valley looks more interesting in the rain, don't you think? Most people stay indoors. It's not good for business. Well, I'm about to make your life a little better then. Fifty garlic seeds and seventy parsnip seeds, please. go to the beach and gather shells there too, but here without tearing up one of our plantings, which I don't want to do. One, two, three, four, so it needs to go here. So we'll go ahead and put that here. If I had my druthers, it would go over to the, over here, but encountered any crows yet. I haven't encountered any crows yet. Just you wait. to the house and let us interrogate the feeling that I have that I have a coffee bean tucked away somewhere. I was almost like, well, there it is. There in my inventory. Yes, that's the new one, dear. No coffee bean there. No coffee bean in there. No coffee bean. No coffee bean. No coffee bean. There's a coffee bean. You okay over there? My kitty is stuck on the turbo. That's mildly alarming. Okay. I just plant in spring or summer so you can just plant them as beans. Okay, all right. Um, Now we have some wood at last, at long, long last, and I have here in my hand a sheet I wrote up of things that we need to craft. It's a great many things.
four cheese presses, and we have two. So we need two more. I need 20 hardwood and two copper bars. Two cheese presses. So we got two already, so that makes four. Come for the harvest moon and stay for the math. All right. I wrote down four manual machines, but that's wrong because I forgot you can get manis from ducks, not just from chickens. So I'm going to need four more manis machines, five more manis machines. And for that, I will need earth crystals. We have one manis machine. I need six. One, two, three, four, five, and I've got a six one already down. I want four seed makers and I have three, so I need coal and gold. One, two, ran out of coal. Interesting. Set it up. I'm going to do something I don't like to do. I'm going to use 10 wood to make a coal. Let's go place our animal stuff, and by the time we come back, the process should be complete. I don't think it takes very long. what I would like to do and what we don't have room to do is I would like to set them up along this wall here um, because what's gonna happen is we're gonna have eggs in front of those it's gonna be a pain in the rear to try to see them and pick them up but I think I will leave that for when the uh, we'll redecorate whenever we have the barn and coop to their final size could not think of the words Goat cheese, mayonnaise, I'm going to hold on to the pine tar because I'm not sure if we just like we've used some if we're about to use some. Alright, when we come back in, hopefully we have a coal. There's a gold! And we need to sort of mentally schedule some time. Seat maker, there we go to go to the ice levels of the there we go. ice levels of the mine and get some coal because we are out. Okay. I need four looms, but I don't have 60 wood, so that's not going to happen. And I need a bunch more kegs. And for that, we're going to need copper, iron, and oak resin. But we could only make one right now, so I'm not even going to bother. After our next wood um, foray, we will... Um, we will set down more kegs. Seed makers go in here. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. So we got a nice, nice wall there of seed makers and chest. Very happy about that. Oh, 
Let me have more seed to plant. It's okay that I didn't put down fertilizer on the coffee because I don't plan to sell that, so I don't need it to be gold quality, so that's fine. But I do plan to sell this baby. There we go. And we're just going to toss that in there. Those probably should have been fertilized as well. Ah, well, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay, I think that takes care of all the stuff we need to do today. Except, like I said, we do need to mentally reserve some time to go to the mines. So, wow. Parsnips and garlic really came through there, price-wise. Okay, good. Day six. It's supposed to be sunny today. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. The spirits feel neutral. Hello, Granny. Good morning, dear. It was a lovely walk out here. I haven't seen this old farm in a long time. It looks even better than I remember. Here, I brought you a little something. It's a gift from one gardener to another. What is it? Garden pot. These pots are really handy. You can use them to grow crops of any season indoors. <gasps> they also look nice outside, but out here they can only house in-season crops. If you need more, they're really easy to make too. Here, I've got an old magazine clipping with instructions. Yes, yes, yes. I've never heard of these. This must be an addition. I'd better go. George get grump gets grumpy if he doesn't have his oatmeal on time. You have a great day, honey. Emily wants an apricot. Well, Emily, lucky for you. Oh, wow. Okay, I gotta think about this. What are we going to grow? seeds I had I threw in the, the greenhouse okay that's that's fine and I mean the, the greenhouse can grow things out of season as well so this is really just a an addition to the greenhouse but um, but still that's exciting I wonder if you can still grow trees in the greenhouse if you could we could get our pomegranates faster Eh, not that much faster at this point. Okay, get a hold of yourself. What are you doing? You're gonna go check on your mushrooms. 
then you're going to check on your winery, which we totally need to redecorate. It's kind of bland in there. because you could grow stuff before without having to finish the community bundles. In fact, it could probably help you finish the community bundle. That's very cool. The ducks are like the 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 goats in that they don't produce every day. And if you don't know that or if you forget, it's easy to think that you're doing something wrong. But you're not. In fact, we could probably get away with fewer cheese presses, like, well, just so many cherries. We could probably get away with fewer cheese presses, like, three instead of four, and just store one goat milk a day. to be processed the next day on the off day. But that's ugh, math and hard. You need to just make four. <laughs> what I wish you could do, and as far as I know you can't, I wish you could uncraft things and restore them to their component parts. Because delicious if the game gave me another cheese press at this point for some reason like here's a cheese press as a gift yesterday I found a seagull with her wing caught in a net I set her free she looks so helpless I just remembered I'm supposed to call me grandma. Joey tells me you've become part of this community. I'm glad to hear it. Sebastian playing the game, there's a bit of a glow on his face. I, or, I, I, the Sam. I never noticed that. You know, I should be doing something productive right now. I just lose focus too fast. Maybe I should drink more coffee? Baby, no! I 
I don't think more caffeine is the solution here. There's our crab pots, which I have been neglecting. Not by choice, I just I kind of forgot they were there. This is for me? Marvelous. Some people are shy. Keep showing interest in them and they'll get comfortable around you. Everyone likes to have friends, even that grumpy blacksmith. I love him so much. I love how he notices people and thinks about them and he's very non-judgmental but observant at the same time, which is, you know, a good quality for a writer to have. If you're going to write characters, you need to understand them. Single-handedly. Can't interrupt the jam in town trees. I have single-handedly increased the town's consumption of fish by 300 percent Tree, 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 tree. Mm -hmm. I hope all the fish I'm feeding them is safe. I learned the other day that you're not supposed to eat too much canned tuna. Because like that can has built up a bad thing or something? What the heck? What the heck? I have been eating tuna all the time. That worries me. And I don't know if that's one of those things where it's like, oh no, that's an urban myth, or it's like, oh no, yeah, that's totally true. Who knows? I don't know. Hopefully I'm not feeding them fish who have imbibed like mercury or whatever. Is that the thing? Mercury? I don't know. I don't eat fish. Tuna fish is the only fish I eat. The only fish. And now I'm like not even sure if I want to eat that. So. Onions! Trees! It's so good to have trees to chop down again. We didn't chop down enough trees in year one. I took them for granted. I thought they'd all be always be there. So a good question is, do I want to get um started on upgrades or do I want to build kegs? Kegs are important, don't get me wrong, but it's gonna be a while until that shed is full. It might be better to do the upgrades now, but upgrades cost money and kegs make money, so I think I talked myself into kegs. Yeah, I think I turned myself into kegs. It's, uh, I can't afford to, um, buy a bunch of building upgrades right now.
think there was anything planted right there. So I didn't miscount. I just missed the one right behind the scarecrow. That'll happen. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about those impinging our crops. There we go. All right, we watered everything. I was not sure if it would be able to. As the kids are wont to say, party. Wait, first we have to put all our stuff up. There you go. We need oak resin, iron, and <clears throat> copper. And that will make a keg. And that took all of our wood. And we still need more, just for the record. In seven days, we will get a harvest. And that, my pretties, is that.
when we come back, we will, um, well, it'll be the 7th, and that will be Sunday Caravan, and Mayor Lewis's birthday. So those are nice things. <laughs> So once again, this is Stardew Valley. My name is Anna Murdahl, and I'm really grateful to have you here. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next Let's Play. Bye-bye.